Hello everyone and welcome back to our Adventure Day quest calendar from Sundial Games, the Leaf 2024's, the Leaf Riders of Renwood, excuse me. Now, uh, if you haven't checked out yesterday's adventure, uh, it, we were doing a lot of sciencey stuff, taking all those ingredients that we gathered from last week and this week and started putting them into a tincture. Now, uh, some of it got a little crazy, but for the most part, we did pretty well. Make sure you check out the link above that'll bring you back to yesterday's video if you missed it but moving on to today thursday march 7th first thing we're going to do is check this wonderfully colored page to see if there are any backpacks or anything i don't think so the tree of seasons is dying and the only course of action is to capture its spirit it is time to cast the spell with the tentures you've made uh so we have the hourglass from the merchant Focus on channeling your arcane energy for the ritual. D20 plus wisdom. Remember, reminder, arcane adept. And then use the tenters for the spell. All right, so we're going to see intellect. We might kill off our cricket here. But we're going to go ahead and draw a card. Try and activate his ability. So we need a heart greater than four. That's an ace of hearts. See, I don't know. I want to say ace is high, but it didn't count as a face card, it said. Uh, let me check the rules here just to see if it says it. Maybe Ace is one. Because it only says Jack, King, Queen, and Joker are considered faces and they're called considered 10 plus. But nothing says anything about a Ace. I'm, a, I'm guessing Ace is one. That's what I'm going to go with. So unfortunately, we don't get the ability, but we get to keep our crickets. Uh, focus on channeling your arcane energy for the ritual d20 plus wisdom wisdom is not terrible we do have the boon from yesterday uh, so we can always do that if needed that's a two okay i'm not liking that even with the boon i don't think that'll help anything reroll dex reroll damage uh two plus wisdom is four Technically, we could get a four to bump us up to the next thing. Should we try it? We got to try it because that'll give us a plus one on everything. So we'll do it. We'll add a D20, a D4. If we get a four, then we're good. That's a one. Oh, well, it was worth a shot. Seven or less. The dire state of the dying tree of seasons is causing mental fatigue and draining the arcane energy in the area. Number two, use the tentures for the spell. As you and Master Laurel begin the incantations of the spell, specks of the tree's spirit materialize into wisps of vibrant flames that seep into the branches. They brighten the room and cast flickering shadows of green and yellow light about the walls. They gather and float in the air before collecting in the hourglass, fusing to the sands inside. Each stage of the spell requires a different tincture and will help save and harness some of the Tree of Seasons' fading spirit. Keep track of the total number. Uh, first of is the Oak Wart, which is 3d20 plus the Oak Wart. 15. Okay, plus 3 is 18. 15 or more. Three wisps from the tree float down to collect into the hourglass. All right, so we'll do a little oops, collection here. Uh, wisps. wisps. Uh, so far, we are at three. All right. And then we got to do the hazel root. Uh, D20. That's a 15. Okay. Plus the hazel root is five. That's 20. If the result is 15 or more, three wisps from the tree of spirits floats down to collect in the hourglass. We are at six. We might just save this tree, people. Uh, D20 plus mud caps is also five. I had to say something. <coughs> That's an eight. Uh, between eight and 14, uh, two wisps from the trees float down to collect in the hourglass. So almost perfect. We got eight out of nine. The spell is complete. Sitting before you is a glowing hourglass full of trees spirit. Check the number of wisps you were able to collect. If you collected eight or nine wisps, the luminous glow of the hourglass is resplendent. Write down resplendent hourglass. Okay, so we can get rid of all of this stuff. Probably write down the wisps also. 
Um, I'm going to leave that for now. But we'll go ahead and write down Resplendent Hourglass. Uh, we will do that after. Thank you all for joining us. That looks like that's going to do it for today, uh, for Thursday. Let's see, let's see what's going on with that Hourglass tomorrow. Thank you all for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are enjoying this series. It lets me know, um, yeah, that you guys are having just as much fun as I am. Also, remember D&D uh, &D every Wednesday. If you missed yesterday's D&D, &D, there should be a VOD for it. Uh, you can check it out in the links below, as well as every other Sunday. That'll be this Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern. You catch us on Twitch and YouTube. Twitch is the only moderated and monitored chat but you can join from any side that you want. But until next time, thank you again. And as always, stay safe out there.